Good morning. Sunday morning. On my way to work. I, uh, I'm going to stop by the post office first. Oh. Stuck. Um, oh. I'm stuck. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I got to pack some packages to mail out. So I'm going to do that. Really? Oh, just take the earring out. That worked. So, what's today? Yeah, today's Sunday. I'm working at the, in the desk in admissions today, so. Hopefully it's a nice, quiet day. It should be. I mean, I don't think there's anything exciting happening, but. So, you're probably all sick of me telling you that I'm pushing that reset button again, but you know what? Yep, I am. <laughs> I was off yesterday so bad that I was sick, like literally throwing up sick and I don't even know my neuropathy in my feet I, I think I've told you I've had, I have non-diabetic neuropathy in my feet and it was so bad yesterday that it was going all the way up to my knees Okay, that has never happened. But my diet lately has sucked. I have to say, it really, really, really has. I have not been eating properly. I have not been eating the healthy foods that I'm supposed to be eating. I hope this is what I'm supposed to do. No, that's it. Where am I supposed to go to bring a... Isn't there a drive-by box thing? Darn it. I gotta go all the way around. Um, yeah, I, what was I saying? I've never been that bad. I had it so bad that I almost, I, f I don't even know how to explain it. I felt like I was just jumping out of my skin. And I know for a fact it's because of all the freaking sugar I've had lately. I don't know. Hold on. And when I say I've been having a lot of sugar, I have been eating a ton of sugar. Uh, can I just say that I polished off Within the last couple of days, a Costco sized bag of miniature chocolates. Yep. I poisoned myself with all that chocolate because I couldn't stop. I could not stop eating it. That's how bad I have sugar addiction. Now, it's, and I know tons of people still don't agree with sugar, you know, that sugar is a serious, serious problem. It is just like heroin. It is just like nicotine. It's a food group, yes, but it is a drug. It's not a food group, but it's in the food. It is a drug. And it affects people differently. Some people can have it in moderation and not really have a struggle or issues with it. But some people, and I am one of them, I cannot do it. So, last night around, I don't know, or this morning, two o'clock this morning. Mind you, I've only slept a couple of hours this mo today. I have decided that I 
am giving up sugar for good. Absolutely, positively. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I don't really give a rat's ass what anyone thinks. I am not having any sugar. And you know what? I also quit coffee. I know, I know, hold on to your hats. You never thought you'd hear that those words out of my mouth. I am not having coffee or any forms of caffeine because I am done feeling like crap. Unless you've been in the position beforehand of how great you feel when you are only eating what God has intended for you to eat and that is fruits and vegetables and grains. That's it. You don't even know. You could be eating, you know, healthy diet and you could say you're feeling great, but you don't feel as great. Or I shouldn't say that. I did not feel as great as I did when I just ate fruits and vegetables and grains. Not even nuts and seeds. Occasionally I will have nuts and seeds, but I am not having nuts and seeds while I am trying to lose weight. Now my next weigh-in date is not until October 6th. And I will let you know if, you know, I've been up and down and up and down all month. I know I have. I have not gone on the scale because I don't really want to know how different the scale fluctuates because it doesn't really matter. I just go by how I feel. And right now I feel like crap and my pants are tight and that's how I know that I'm eating the way I'm eating. So today I am starting a whole new chapter, just a whole new uh, way of eating for me. It's, it's an old way that I used to do. Well, I tempted, but never mind. Past is the past. Moving on, moving on forward. Be that frog. I'm not doing it. I am caffeine free and sugar free. Today is day one, and I am starting, um, I guess, my version of a Mary's Mini. Um, for anybody who follows uh, Dr. McDougall and the starch, starch solution, because that's what I intend on doing at the at the end, towards the end of all this. Um, I'm doing a 10-day rice-only diet, mainly because it's uh, cleansing, detoxing, extremely filling and easy and boring but hey it is what it is and it has to be done and I, I'm not going to show you any food because all it is is rice you know one day I'll have brown rice one day I'll have jasmine rice one day I'll have long grain white rice it just doesn't matter and I can eat as much rice as I want, as often as I want it, until, you know, until I get my whole system detoxed and cleaned out. You know, I've heard many stories of how successful this whole thing is, and I will do it. So, I mean, I've done it with potatoes. I've done potato reset, not as strictly, um, but I have. But I am doing the, I'm doing it, doing the, just the plain white rice for 10 days. So, all right, that's it for me. Um, I'll talk to you later and wish me luck with this new adventure, <laughs> new way of life. I don't know what you want to call it, but. I call it, uh, I don't know, getting my act together and cleaning out my system because my entire GI system right now really sucks. So, and it's affecting my joints and my nervous system. I just feel like, I don't know, I just, 
I'm not feeling right. That's all I can say. So, all right, I'll talk to you later. The word for today is dash. What makes up the dash between the year I was born and the year I will die? It is a period of time we call life. How we choose to spend that dash is up to us. Today we witnessed the cremation of three people in Nepal with the body of a fourth person being prepared for cremation. We don't often talk about death in the U.S., at least not so blatantly and openly about how natural a part of the life cycle it is. How did I experience watching this custom? Yes, I, I did think about a lot of things like how different it is to have a loved one die and then have them cremated within 24 hours. It seems so sudden and quick and yet that's just what they, what I think because it has been that custom in my family. On the other hand, it's, it seems so simple and direct. It's, it just is what happens here. Yes, it is stark and not sugar-coated, but in some ways, it seems so healthy. And so it is that travel and experiences add more dimensions to our own lives. We, learned, we get to learn from others about the importance of their rituals, beliefs, and customs. We learn that it is not weird, but truly a valuable alternative, one to respect and honor. We acknowledge the miracle of birth and the span of time we refer to as the dash of time we call life. I am reminded that our dash may be short or long yet meaningful. We get to write our own story and being healthy certainly increases the odds of extending the dash.